Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to do a simple calculator automation project. And this is a requirement of our uh, calculator automation project. What we want to do is uh, we want AutoIT to launch the calculator application first. Then it should check whether the calculator is launched or not. If it is launched, then it should press the button 5 on the calculator um, and then plus button and then 6 button. Then finally, it should press the equal to button. What we want to do is we want to add 5 plus 6 and uh, display the value. So that is what we are trying to automate. Once it is done, we want a script to close this calculator application. So this is what our requirement is and this is what we are going to do now. So to do that, open the SAT editor. Go to our programs, auto v 3 in the SAT you will find SAT editor. So first, we need to launch the calculator. To do that, we should use a run command. In the run command, we have to provide the file name. These are the two parameters, so I am giving the file name and uh, leave the working directory as empty. If you don't know the file name, you can find it uh, using uh, the property function. Just type the calc and here, using the property, you can find calc followed by the file type. So you can provide that here next check the calculator is launched or not before that we want the script to wait for at least two seconds so that window will launch the calculator for wait command we should use a sleep function and provide the time in milliseconds we want the script to wait for two seconds so we are giving 2000 milliseconds which is ultimately equal to 2 seconds and uh, now we are going to check whether the calculator is launched or not to do that we should use win exist function and in the win exist function we should provide the calculator title and text to get this one we should launch the calculator and auto it window info tool so Using this finder tool, I am getting this title. So here the title is displayed. I am copying the title and put it in this area. I am leaving this text as empty. Then now it should press button 5. To press the button, I am going to use a control click command. I need to pass the title calculator text is empty and it is asking control id it is also mandatory one so i should identify the control id of button 5 using auto it window info tool to find the control id click on the finder tool drag and drop it on the button 5 so here you can find the control id under the control tab it's 135 so I'm going to keep 135 here and then it should press button plus. So to do that, I'm just copying this command and putting it here. But I need to replace this 135 with control ID of plus button. So I am finding the control ID of plus button using this finder tool. It's 93. Then it should press button 6. And here also I need to replace the control ID of button 6. The control ID of button 6 is 136. Finally, it should press equal to button. So I am finding control ID of equal to button, it's 121.
and that's it i'm going to end the loop before ending i also want this calculator to be closed to close this calculator i'm going to use win close function i have to provide the title of the window followed by the text that's it we completed our first project but before executing this we cannot able to see whether it is pressing 5 6 or something because uh, it will execute it in a fraction of second so to see that we should provide wait command for each action so after pressing the button 5 it should wait for 2 second and then after pressing the button plus it should wait for 2 second because uh, then only we can able to see whether it's performing correctly or not that's it so what we have to do is we have to just save the file and i'm going to compile the file so this is where i have saved if you want uh, before executing this it is good to check the syntax go to tools and here you will find syntax check prod click on this it displaying uh, no error if there is an area error it will be shown in the red line so we are good now let's execute this script and let's see what happened so it is launch the calculator click the button 5 and then it is clicking plus button and then 6 button and then clicking equal to button then it's get closed that's it it works successfully so if you want to convert this a3 file into an exe format you can also do that using tools compile here select the output type as exe and make sure that you have mocked this compile x86 version and then click on the compile script so now it's convert the a3 format to an exe format you can find this file on the same path where you have saved the a3 format so this is where you can find the file if you execute this it will do the same operation as it is uh, uh, what uh, this auto it is doing so thank you